Hello everybody, it's me again, Madam Day. Today, we are going to learn Mathematics Year 5, Problem Solving of Measurement. Look at example 1. Table 1 shows the masses of 3 boxes P, Q and R. Find the total mass of the three boxes in kg. So, first step, you have to find out the keywords. The keywords are total and in kg. Means that your final answer must in kg. Total means that we have to use addition. So, means that we just add up. P, Q, and R. And then the final answer you write in kg. For kg and gram, we can use one tree box to calculate the answer. So you arrange the number inside one tree box. And then after you plus, the final answer is in kg. Kg is together with point. So, your answer later will have point. Example 2. Diagram 1 shows two beakers. So, there are, uh, there are water inside the beaker. The first one is 8 litre, 850 ml. And the second one is 12.765 litre. So the question is asking, find the total volume of water in both beakers in liters. Find out the keywords first. The keywords are total and liter. Again, total means plus addition. So we just add up these two volume of liquid. And then the final answer is in liter. Again, we have to use one tree box. You arrange the number inside and then you add. And the final answer in liter, the answer is with point. Example 3. The length of a piece of computer paper is 32.5 cm. Calculate the length of 25 pieces of the same computer papers in meter. So, the first sentence tell you that a piece of the paper is 32.5 cm. Now you need to calculate the length for 25 pieces. Untuk sehelai kertas, panjangnya 32.5 cm. Sekarang tugas awak kena kira 25 helai kertas. Berapakah panjangnya? And the final answer in meter. Jawapan akhirnya di dalam unit meter. So, I simplify the information like this. Saya dah permudahkan uh, maklumat yang diberi mas, seperti ini. One piece sehelai kertas 32.5 cm. Kalau nak cari 25 pieces, so which operation are we going to use? Operasi apa yang kita nak guna? Yes, multiply. Kita kena guna multiply. So means that 25 times 32.5 cm and the final answer in meter. Jawapan akhir dalam meter. So for this one, you times first, anda darabkan dahulu jawapannya dalam cm. Selepas siap, baru kamu tukar kepada meter. 1 meter is equal to 100 cm. 1 meter bersamaan dengan 100 cm. Jika cm pergi ke meter, kita kena bahagi 100. Divide 100. Example 4. 
Mr. Tan buys 12 kg of onions. He packs the onions into small packets of 500 gram each. How many packets of onions are there all together? Alright, for the question like this, if you can't find out the keywords, you can draw the diagrams. Bagi soalan macam ni, kalau kamu tak jumpa keywords, contohnya total, difference, left, so anda boleh guna cara dengan melukis gambar raja. Mr. Tan beli 12 kg onion, bawang. Okay, 12 kg dia beli satu guni besar. He packs the onions into small packet. 500 gram each. Maksudnya dia ambil 500 gram masuk dalam paket kecil. Okay? Lepas tu ambil lagi 500 gram masuk paket kecil. Sekali lagi ambil sehingga semua bawang ini habis. Okay? Sehingga semua bawang ni habis. 12 kg ni habis. So now we have to find out how many packets are there after he packed 500 gram in each small packet? Tugas kita nak cari selepas selesai packing ada berapa uh, packet kecil yang 500 gram. So, which operation are we to use? Operasi apa yang kita nak guna kalau soalan macam ni? Bahagi kan? Sebab dia ambil 500, keluar. Ambil, letak pack, paket kedua. Ambil lagi paket ketiga sehingga habis. So, caranya ialah divide. Bahagi. Okay? So, before you divide, you have to make sure this 12 kg convert to gram first. Sebelum bahagi, anda perlu tukarkan 12 kg kepada gram dahulu sebab ini 500 gram so kg tukar gram times 1000 1 kg is 1000 gram so 12 times 1000 is 12000 ok 12000 divide by 500 then you will get the answer the answer is how many packet jawapannya berapa packet Bukan dalam kg, bukan dalam gram. Tukar unit dahulu, baru kita bahagi dengan 500. Example 5. Diagram 2 shows the distance of Osman's house and Idris' house from school. Okay, this is Os uh, Osman's house and this is Idris' house. This is school. Okay, the distance is given. Jaraknya sudah diberi. So now, find the difference between the two distance in km. So first, find out the keywords. Can you see the keywords? This is the keywords. Difference. Another one, in km. Your final answer must in km. So difference means you we have to subtract. Kita kena bahagi, subtract, okay? So for subtract or minus, remember the bigger number minus the smaller number. Nombor yang lebih besar tolak nombor yang lebih kecil. So 4.2 and 2.35, which is bigger? Yang mana lebih besar? Yes, it's 4.2. So, 4.2 km minus 2.35 km and the final answer also in km. Look at the unit. All the units are same. So, we no need to convert. You just subtract as usual. Kamu hanya perlu tolak seperti biasa. Sebab semua dalam KM. Yang penting, point mesti susun sebaris. Last one, example 6. 
the capacity of a container is 4.5 liter. How much glasses of water with capacity 225 ml can fill up the container? Okay, for this question, I want to use diagram. Saya nak guna cara lukis gambar. Okay, dia kata ada container yang besar. 4.5 liter. Okay, container ni boleh muat air 4.5 liter. Sekarang dia ada, dia guna gelas. Okay, dia guna gelas. Gelas tu ialah 225 ml. Dia masukkan satu gelas air. Okay, sampai container ni penuh. Okay, ini satu gelas. Belum penuh. Dia masuk lagi. 225 ml masuk lagi. Masih belum penuh. Jadi, ambil gelas ketiga. 225 ml masuk lagi. And 225 ml sampai dia penuh. So, sekarang tugas awak nak cari berapa gelas. How many glasses you need to fill up the container until full. Okay? Sehingga penuh. So, berapa gelas yang kita nak cari? How many glasses? So, which operation are we going to use? Operasi apa yang kita nak guna? Yes, dy. Kita kena guna dy. Okay. As usual, you have to make sure the 4.5 liter you convert to ml because we need to divide by 225 ml. So, 4.5 liter times 1000, then you will get the answer in ml. After you convert to ml, then only you divide by 225. Setelah kamu tukar kepada ml, nak tukar ml, darab 1000. Selepas tukar ml, baru awak bahagi dengan 225. Then you will get the answer in how many glasses. That's all for today. Thank you and happy learning.